Welcome to the doghouse. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see a five month old German Shepherd puppy meet an eight week old Boston Terrier puppy for the first time? I mean, it's not like you wake up in the, in the beginning of the day asking yourself this, but um, I woke up today wondering that and just because that's what we're gonna end up filming today. I wanted to make this more of like a slightly more formal video with Grimm. I don't know how he's gonna react, so there's that, but also it's a good opportunity to just show kind of how I introduce or how I would introduce this particular puppy. I'm gonna introduce all my dogs differently because all my dogs are different. Stay tuned, um, I hope this doesn't go terribly wrong because you never know because these are animals and they're not trick ponies and even trick ponies will kill you. So I created a little safe spot for her that she thought was safe. Basically the pink blanket, it's like a little zone with toys. Grim is not an asshole. He's still a baby himself. He's not going to be a jerk. The only thing I'd be worried about is if he was gonna try to like pounce too hard or try to play too rough. That's definitely gonna be something that's going to happen the more comfortable she gets here and with him and the more comfortable he gets with her. So it's, you know, it's just a part of impulse training. Hey, you like all that pink and purple stuff? Come here. Come see the baby. Come. Good. Okay. You want to bring her the ball? Look at the baby. Good boy. A good interaction. She's calm. She's not screaming in fear. She's shaking right now because I'm kind of holding her awkwardly. And it's, you know, it's her first day. Literally her first day. That was their first meet. So the one thing I did do before I introduced them, I brought her in. He was still kenneled. Uh, Josh took him out to go pee to relieve himself because we had been gone for a few hours. And I let her run around for a quick minute. She actually got to meet Dexter first because he is number one. It was really important for me to get Grim out of the cage by himself and actually do a quick little obedience and go outside and chase the ball around for a bit and get some energy out. He's trying to engage with her to play. Did you just realize it's a dog? No? Okay. Is this a worthless dog to you? It's too small. You're being so gentle. Good boy. It's a girl. Yep, the girl of the house is here. There's a new girl in the house. There's a backstory to the old girl of the house. And my little Lila came about. I wanted to get his energy out before he was, you know, I didn't, he didn't need to be a ball of bursting 50 something pound energy before meeting this new little baby, so. Grim, settle. Good boy. I started the word settle with him when he was little. Something we taught dogs back in the day when I was training dogs to be service dogs. It's just a reminder that to calm down. I use it for clipping nails, bathing, in public areas or situations like this. Grimace. To me, I like to do reminders. I say the name, I say settle. Hello. I want him to know that this is not a toy. There are boundaries, he has to be careful. I've also used that word as well. When he does want to sniff her, she stands to be smelled. That's very polite 
dog behavior. It's very social dog behavior. Ah, ah. That's what we were not wanting, which is, he did it nicely. He didn't do it maliciously or that hard, but it was good to be able to correct that foot motion that we don't want because they're about the same size. Her little head and his feet. Good boy, Grim. Some people might say, you know, oh, you have toys around while this new little critter is running around his mouth. He's not toy possessive. We were very, well, good. Ah, ah. Good. Graham's a gentle dog by nature, but he's a puppy. Good boy, easy. Good boy. Ah. He is um, seeing her, ah, her little motions and he's copying. And because it makes her nervous, she actually stops. It's almost like she's communicating to him that that scared her. But then of course she's a puppy, so here we go. Throughout this time of her being here, her first little her first few weeks here, uh, he's going to need a lot of reminders to be easy and to be gentle. Any larger dog, any older dog that you have with a new puppy, you know, don't be afraid to remind them to play easy. Even Dexter will need that reminder. <laughs> Even though you're basically Dexter's toy, yes, you're not for us, you're Dexter's dog. You're Dexter's. As you can see, this is a good little first interaction. Is this how you should introduce any six month old puppy to that's triple, quadruple, 10 times the size of the other puppy? No, I don't, it's not. This is how I introduce, this is how I wanted to introduce this dog to this puppy. This puppy to this puppy, basically. Hey! Reminder. Dexter's introduction was much different. The other two big dogs in the house will be much different. Any other dog in the world? I have no idea, they're not my dogs. I would consult a professional. Should I put a leash on him to introduce him to this mouse of a dog? Uh, not really, I don't wanna cause tension. Leashes cause tension, and I know I don't have a vicious dog, so I, I know that I can introduce this way with this dog to this puppy. So, and also she's not super, she doesn't seem to be super fearful, which is amazing. More to come. Oh Lord. Right on. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's smudged, but.
you not even see it? Her? Amadeus, who's the puppy? Get the puppy. <laughs> okay, I hope you got that on the mic. Surprise, there's a puppy. You farted it out. He's actually pretty graceful for a big dumb dog. And that's it. Amadeus, you farted out a big little puppy.